No? No, that's the name the of the stage. stage. Okay. <laughs> but I forgot the, the kingdom. Ah, you're right. It just kind of slips your mind, right? Yeah, all I know is he has Lars' phone number in his phone. And he calls <laughs> him from time to time. That's probably, why, he, that's probably why Jotaro plays him, too, is because, like, oh, yeah. Rich kids, huh? Royalty. <laughs> anyway, it's going to go into the matchup. Let's see if Chanel's able to continue the streak that Team Korea has. Oh, the third hit. Not ready for it. And here comes Jotaro. Look at that damage. Oh, side wall stuff, though. Oh, look at this. Yeah, he gets the side step to fall up here for the, the hit. Doesn't Gotta get do it. that. Oh, Looking pretty one sided here. And that's the thing I was worried about is is it going to be the familiarity? Because again, Noct is not a widely used character. And in season three, he's even better. So this is like the perfect storm for him right now. It's unfamiliarity and you're a stronger character than before. Second hit, able to land here, and here comes Alisa. Second hit. Oh, he gets a conversion off of that. And the break, right. and the follow-up. Into the spear. Oh, what a weird punish. And look at that, that might end it right here. What Lots bad of choice, damage right? there. Yeah, that was a great choice there. All the damage, he knew he had the wall on his side as well. And that just added overall. Big counter hit. Doesn't get a follow-up. Doesn't matter, look at that. 50% of his life are already gone from those pokes. Oh, he drops it to jab. No, never mind, he still gets the conversion. And the mix-up, what's he gonna go for? Goes for the swipe, the from crouch out forward two, not able to do anything with it. Uh -huh. Gets the ball hit though. Yeah, and again, he's gonna reset the situation here. What kind of mix-up are we gonna see? Goes for the running attack. Ooh. Nice, the follow-up here. Looking to close it out. Either way, oh, look at that. Jotaro, two rounds to one on game point here in this opening match. Very close rounds though. Throws out the back one there, looking for a counter hit, not able to get it, but still, maybe just keeping Alisa honest here. But Chanel's made some adjustments. Those micro side steps are really uh, causing Jotaro to whiff. It looks like. Yeah, that's the, one of the big problems. Though, is he, as uh, Noctis has an advancing tracking move with the four four one plus two, and that can prove to be very beneficial in this matchup, especially at the wall. Oh, he went for it right there. Look at that, just chopping away Pressure. the legs. Things are working out, gets the big spear, he gets the follow-up. What kind of mix-up? Has him in the red, goes for the drive. What mix-up? Goes for the mid this time. Doesn't get a splat, a bit unfortunate there. Oh, and that's oh, gonna be it. Splat. That's done. And Jotaro, the new guy on the team, Two already rounds. taking Two? it. Jeez. So, we'll see. Yeah, I think it's gonna be one of those games. I mean, Rangchu, because of the character that he uses in Panda, is probably used to not whiffing and not, uh, you know, errantly doing something out in the open. Uh, we know moves like down forward two would knock this forward two, able to cover some immense ground here. A lot of these moves will also hit out of the hunting bear set. So I think Rangchu knows how to play against that kind of style of character. It's gonna come down to, of course, the knowledge on both ends. Who's gonna come out on top? Let's see which unfamiliarity is going to win out at the end. Rancho looking good so far. Oh yeah, he's just falling. And that's the thing, is sometimes you'll see a player go in very aggressively, and that could be due to a number of factors. One of the big factors here that might be it is maybe he doesn't want to play defensively because he doesn't know how to fight against them. Sometimes you just have to go in. All right, follow up here. Goes for the down forward one, trying to mitigate the movement here. Oh, goes in. Again, Jotaro. At the wall? Keeping him there, and this is big, but the lows are starting to come out. The wall, oh, damn. too many lows there. <laughs> yeah, the up four three able to land here, and he's gonna keep him there. Big character. Oh, look at that, Jotaro taking that round away. What round two got in the advantage was quickly eliminated. Jotaro going forward, and look at his pressure now using that down two. Uh oh. Good spacing by Jotaro there. Using those royal arms, the, the arsenal of weapons here, seemingly no, endless. No openings here really with Rancho though, he's playing very compact. Yeah, that's the thing, is like, I, I feel like because he's the very he's forced to do it, right? He's such a big target, that everything he throws out is going to have to count. Right now he's, he's working it. That's enough to get him down 70%. Okay, Ray drives to push him in there and now he has no place to move. He's going to have to fight it up close and it works out. Rancho right now. One round away from moving on and getting a point for his team. And they need it right now. I mean, they don't want to be down three to one. That is not a position you want to be in. All right. Nice, he gets the big four back two. The follow up here, he's gonna push towards the wall, but he drops the combo. 
Oh, and a big wall rising attack. Here we go. Going the other way. Jab. Berserker Barrage. The follow up here goes for the hop kick instead. And again, Jotaro saw it last time, but the demo man gets beat. And pretty Ron, much the pro championship matches uh -huh. that uh, we've done here as well. Yeah, and you know, he's he, he won TGS last year, right? Right. And he had a show challenge match in Korea as well, going up against me, and he was able to beat, win that. So there's a lot going for him right now, and it looks like he has the Golden Law <laughs> equipped. Let's see how this plays out again. This time, Rangchu starting it off just short of the wall, but this is the positioning he wants. He wants to keep Law there. I have a feeling we're going to see uh, the Power Crush sooner or later. Try to bait him out for some attacks. Oh, it doesn't fall for it. Double looking pretty cautious here. Yep. And just using the down 4 one to kind of restrict the options. Oh, he got him. This is big. Oh, but he misses the follow-up. And there's a punish there. Double looking to get the advantage now. Not going to do it. But well, down forward one was changed a bit in season three, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh, the range on it. Changed, uh, changed quite a bit, but I don't think in the bear matchup it's going to matter too much just because of such a huge target that the, the panda is. All right, here's the wall. Has the opportunity for the mix-up. Just out of range with the late tech roll. Oh, didn't believe. Last hit, of course, of the one, two, three. And looks positioning from double. Trying to find the hit. Unable to get it. Back one. And here's the follow-up. Oh, what a slap. Oh, he didn't get the punish. It. This is tough. That was a big read there. He was able to get it, but this running slash kick and the oh. slow motion. Rangchu, the reigning world champ, is taking names right now. He is looking to put his team in the lead. Doubles in trouble. Oh, man. Gets he gets launch. the big launch, and he's going to get the wall here. Yeah. Misses. Doesn't matter. I wasn't as a wall splat, though. Delaying it there. Nice option from double, keeping him there. Now, what, what's he going to do here? This is the, the important thing. Oh, the wall setting one whiff. Hunting Bear Set's able to beat it out. Double making a good adjustment there to keep him at the wall, though. Oh, that's going to be it. It's over. And look at that. Rock two. Three straight rounds making a statement here against Team Japan. And Not only all uh, Sandate, I don't even know what you call it when he goes through all three. Again, to be able to beat these two all-star players. But I'm sure if he, anyone can do it, it could be him. I mean, he's the anchor for a reason, right? And that performance at the Red Major this past weekend as well. Yeah. Let's see how this plays out. It's going to be Shaheen versus Panda. Oh, he picked a different outfit this time. He picked the Patchwork Panda. All right. Let's see how this plays out. Goes for the stone head early on. Able to get it. Try to get the hug. Not able to do it. Oh. This is going to be another one of those matchups. Is, is he used to Panda play? Is he used to Rock 2 style? Okay. Goes for the Orbital. Into the slide in the guaranteed follow-up now with the stance four. Alright, not able to get it here. Trying to restrict his movement and the punish there, just enough. Shaheen saw several changes as well, too. I believe that low kick into the stance. Uh, some changes were made to that. And that right kick, uh, right punch, right, right, right punch, right kick into the stance now you can go into. Yep. So goes for it. Good punish. Yeah, down three into stance. Still an amazing pressure tool here. Gets the punish. Doesn't get the screw out of it though. Circus bear throw broken. Get in rage. Yeah, this is gonna give him access to additional damage. But you know, Rongju just ready. Tied up on rounds right now. Oh, gets the full, but he was in the aerial state. Not able to get extra damage. But look at this, just chop it away. Low, low, low. Already down 30%. Big opportunity here now. Starting to go with the lows of his own. Or Paul, or whatever you call it. <laughs> his <Yeah>. foot. <laughs> gets the follow up here. This is going to be big. He gets the slide. And the follow up here. Able to restrict his movement. Getting up from wake up. Oh, look at the big duck there. And Huge rage. punish. This is going to hurt. Is he going to mix up? No. He goes, wow. Interesting. Down three. Or from Crouch Tree, I should say. That's guaranteed. Look at that. Because of the rage, did just enough damage. And again, one round away from tying it up for his team. Putting it to a potential final match. Good whiff punish there by uh, round two. Oh, again, this is big. Gets the follow. Now what kind of mix-up? Goes with the pedal. 
Laid on the punish. Ooh. He's going to have to be careful. Doesn't want to get hit by that big launcher there. Doncic slowly push him towards the wall as well. Yeah, it's just the sheer pressure. Nice, he gets the punish there with the back one too. The follow-up here, he's just pressuring with those attacks. Nice duck. But again, has rage, has access to, of course, the rage drive and additional damage. If he gets the launcher, it could be it, but the power crunch, able to close it out. Final round here. This is big. It's either going to be against the match and he's going to tie it up, or Rock 2 will win it for the Korean team. Proving to just be a wall. Hit by the hop kick, though. Oh, yeah, this is big. Oh, and this is going to be extra damage. Low jab into the wall standing three. Half. Oh, yeah, and not just half. He has the positioning. Another low parry. This is huge. One more sequence can end in here. And he gets yes. it. Very good reads. <laughs> Double. When you're younger, you have a different outlook on life, you know. You, when you're older, you think about your future and what's ahead of you. But since he's so young, he, right now his focus is Tekken. He just talks about how he loves Tekken. And if you guys might not know, but in Korea, there are certain things uh, in life that you have to take care of, whether it's your family or military service. There's a lot of things that go into factor how you can spend your time. They all right have now, to serve for like two years yeah, or something, right? Yeah, it's a uh, one or two years serve. But right now, okay, he gets the early launch. Before we talk about that depressing stuff, let's talk about how depressing it is if Kazumi can still destroy him. Which she was doing a good job of so far. Oh, yeah. I mean, you gotta respect your elders, and she's probably one of the oldest in the game. Let's be real. Oh, goes for the goes mid. Goes for the mid, yeah. It's surprising. Yeah, he's really trying to test him. That's the thing, is Gen is one of those players that has amazing reflexes and recognition. So, he's. The Except for the throw break. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. That didn't work out. But Ulsan's rhythm just really helping him out in the matchup so far. He's up one round and Ulsan not missing a beat because you saw, you know, in the opening round against Team All-Stars, he was able to beat two characters straight. And right now he's continuing that momentum he had from those prior matches and really putting the hurt on Gen. And it looks even on life right now, but look at the positioning. Kazumi, uh oh. And that's the thing we need to see from Gen is he needs to take those risks, things like the slide. Unless she's flying like that. Again, trying to move, maneuver away from the wall, but not working out so well. But changes places with Kazumi, okay. That's big, and that no throw big on the other side. <clears throat> oh man. Closes yeah, it out. It. Crowd going crazy here. A lot of uh, Gen fans. Yeah, again, you gotta consider we are in Japan, of course, these Japanese players representing their country. Of course, the crowd is gonna give it up. It's Shibuya on the list, right? One of the places you really gotta visit if you come to Japan. Oh, yeah. Or you guys say Shibuya, I guess, is the proper that's, Gaijin that's the pronunciation. Style. That's, that's how it works. Shibuya. Shibuya. <laughs> oh, and he gets the wall bounce, the follow up there with the 4 4 4, and look at this. All this damage. What makes up his new And look at that. Ulsan threatening to take it and secure Team Korea, the best placement here in the later ladder. Let's see what happens. Getting caught the sidestep there. Zubin, still looking like a beast, especially in the right hands here. Uh -huh. We haven't seen that crazy walk carry that we saw earlier in this match. Didn't need to. You know, the ground is doing all the work right now. Kazumi's ground game has always been her strength. Good punish from Ken, man. Look at the wall setting attack, of course. Keeping that pressure. Oh, look at that. And the spacing. Oh, no, this could be it. More mix ups on the wall. What's he gonna do? Oh, it's a whip punish. He's looking to close it out, and there it is. Wilson taking it for his team. Another bottle of water. It wasn't uh, Gina who brought it, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks to the production team for taking care of us. And look at that. 